Okay. Now doing haunted towers. Yeah, I'm just deeply. Uh, anyway, we're going to talk about something else. Uh, my work is bizarre. Uh, like bizarre because I teach very mature adults who are like businessmen or like private led students in their 20s to their 40s and then occasionally I do classes all those they're just clipping in <laughs> yeah these guys they're a problem like the spiders you can't do nothing about them you see he will just bash you with his helmet Oh, maybe we can angle those bombs. But I don't remember the bombs being the way, the way. Oh. Oh, that doesn't have the range. Okay. Yeah, so some days, some lessons you're like, oh, this is going to be a fun, mature conversation. Oh. Still don't like your braid, girl. So it's basically the same as the spiders, you just... Ah, oh, and you could, yeah, blow up in any of these as well. Uh, yeah, so some days you're like, oh, we're going to have like a kind of fun, or you, they're at that age where they can still joke around a little bit, you know, and they're just like, yeah, and it's fun in a kind of irreverent we're making each other laugh. I really enjoyed this lesson, they say, class. Or it's just 12-year-olds who think they're being hilarious by going, <laughs> Green! Green means you're gay! And you're like, oh. And it's just them screeching dumb bullshit for half the class. And they're just, can you not? And you actually have to do the classroom management again. And I hate doing that. <laughs> everything in this area cleared out. Alright. You can see the murder getting ready. Just wanna, just wanna get out of this until we can get, oh, I need, oh. Kosoko, Kosoko, Ko, Kosoko. This is a really weird accent. Oh! Yeah, I could have dodged that. Oh. There's a lot of them here, and it's like, meaning I don't have much ways to dodge these bomb throwers here. Interesting weapon loadout. I will throw bombs and have a shield. And that's it. <laughs> bombs on a wooden shield. Now you have got to get me through, oh, or not. There we go. The braid sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry. That does not last them long enough. Oh, we got some stuff. Is that me? Oh, must have done it already. So I don't want to progress yet. I want to make sure we get everything in this area first. Go ahead, murder everything that stands before me. Yeah. And sometimes you're having a great time and all of the people are complimenting you and they're being really nice and like they like you and you like them and all of this stuff. And it's nice. I'm going to have to come all the way back now because I missed that other guy. Sorry. Content, quote-unquote. Because, yeah. You'll have a gem in him even though he's dead because reasons. 
I mean, he's a haunted pile of armor, so was he ever really alive? Bad gem management, but hey, not like anything makes sense in this game. Wing, 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 wing. I did it. It's good, we got the tenor. I like this level too, and I always forget it exists until I play this game again. I'm like, oh yeah. This level. Yeah, works weird. Very weird. I don't know. Can I need that? Only one way to find out. Oh, okay. Probably should have done this in a different order. Definitely should have done this in a different order. That was dumb. Very dumb. Hey, I could reach it. I thought it was the answer. Okay, we're just... Yeah, it's pretty cohesive level design. You don't normally end up fucking yourself too badly. Um... Oh. Glad I could see that. Uh, really like they really like the superchargers. I can't say, can't say I was ever a huge fan of it because it's quite hard to steer. But like I, you know, it's a different game mechanic. I guess you gotta have something. Shame I can't do basic. But it is a right hand, like right angle turn. So what was I doing anyway? Oh wow, I'm just bad. Let me try and master basic cornering first. I can't drift my dragon very well. Oh, uh, that, the, the pieces of the door stay on, on screen for so long it blinds me. And I'm like, uh, 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 oh, dead. Luckily it doesn't kill you, so. Content. <laughs> Fuck me. This is actually annoying. Uh, what was I going to even say? Oh, you fucking... I think I remember this being a problem before because it's quite a narrow-ish doorway. What even is making that noise? You notice every time he gets up to speed, there's something that's going... And it's just like, really like, why is that there? Oh, great. Oh, great. I'm glad I could <laughs> work out what was going on. Okay. Here comes Spyro. Oh. Oh, glad you're here. I have to deal with the supercharge. Braid socks. <laughs> I can break the rules of the chests with this fire upgrade. <laughs> Hanging out in castles, are we? Oh, it's you that was making that noise. Look at this little shit. I hope that hurts more. <laughs> now! Okay. 
I don't want to kill you anyway. Oh, there's a fairy here. Sometimes it's worth just looking a little far ahead. Uh, uh, there we go. No, 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 no. That's all I have to say to you. Okay, what are we missing? I know I missed some rooms back there, so I can get clear this area. What are we looking at? A lot. Great. Yay! Uh, yeah, my job's weird. It's more varied in a way that's not just like, do you want to be a white clown or a white clown? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, You'll get free shit, and you get to sit in a Porsche and just talk a little bit about the Volkswagens and Porsches, and you can invent your own TED Talks, which are about subjects that only you, literally only you care about. And you're like, oh, okay, cool. You know, <laughs> and you're just like, yeah, neat. Now, I used to hack this bit to shit. It's supposed to supercharge that, but, like, fuck that. So what we do is the thing that's now going to clearly not work because the bar's emptying too quickly. But we can try. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> they gave me an option not to use the supercharge. So, yeah, I'm not going to use it because like, we all saw what happened. Right up until they made me use it because there's no other option. Uh... Rooms, changing, dooms. Oh, so that's that one. I must have missed a whole area. Just gonna have a little look. Oh yeah, go up here. So this is all cleared. I think. Whoa. Oh, there were some suits of armor I may have missed. Maybe something on top. Or maybe not. I'm sure there's a secret uh, area here that I always forget. So, pardon moi while I work out what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah, you know, they allow you to express yourself a little bit more and they allow you to like do stuff that's a little more for your taste, not just like Hey, you're working with screaming brat toddlers again. Make them clap and laugh and dance and shit. <laughs> and that's that's your job. And if a parent complains because their precious little fucking snot nosed brat isn't getting all of the attention because they're in a class with other students, we're gonna cut your salary. It's not like that, so that at least there's that. But like I said you're trading in the kindergarten mentality that a lot of the teachers in kindergarten have and replacing it with very adult issues that are still being left untackled, much like they are left untackled in uh, kindergartens, where, you know, the casual racism the constant immaturity. Like, you know, that never goes away. Some people you work with are always the mental age of 10. I'll come back to this one. Um, yeah, some of the people I work with, they have the mental age of about 6. They're sitting there and they can't deal with the fact that my shirt's purple. Or they're calling me fat. And you're just sat there like, going, hey, he's fat. <laughs> and it's just like, e and. I'm like, don't call me fat. And they're like, I'm fat too. And it's like, I, I still didn't ask for your fucking opinion. And I don't care about your personal health. <laughs> like, you know. Oh. Starting to lose track of what's big and what's small for these guys. Uh, that's the passage. 
with haunty towers. There's one called something park or leafy park or leafy lane. Leaf covered park. Yeah, so I just sit there and think, think of the money and it's like, you know, it's really too real in China. It's very cynically, <clears throat> you're throwing away your morals for dollars. <laughs> like, you have to stand by and watch people treat other people like shit because that's our culture to treat them like shit. And you're just having to deal with that on a level that's just highly uncomfortable. And it's just weird and like unpleasant. That's a castle. Can I jump to the level? I haven't done it though. God damn it, it's called something leaf. Pretty sure. Maybe I'm just going crazy. See, they used to always grow too big before you got near them. Icy Flight? Oh. That was Lofty Castle again. But we'll do the flight level and cry. Because, I mean, crying is content. Yeah, you know, I mean, I just I just want to get into a situation where I don't have to be here anymore. But obviously, it's like a bad time to be moving. So, you know, I'm kind of stuck in a box now for the time being. Oh, these guys again. Cool. Spyro predicted drones confirmed. Jesus, <laughs> calm down. We did nothing. We did nothing. We got <laughs> like one of everything. My cat's going crazy, as per. Yeah, I was aiming us at this, I just didn't... Oh. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah? Oh. Oh. Wow, it really wants to fuck me on these ones. Or maybe I'm just bad. Whatever. Oh. I missed a bunch. Let's go back around again. They start mixing the two. Uh, then it gets really confusing because it's like, here are chests and this, and you're like, wait, what? Let's try and get the. Oh, let's try and get the copters. Let's get fucking ignored by copters. We got one. I'll do one more try and then, like, I, I don't like wasting time on these because it's just like, it's, you know, oh, well, oh, this is all going horribly. Uh, oh. Oh. I don't want to. I'll come back to it at some point. Nah. Cats. Nah. I was researching my cat's diet. 
because he's actually at a good weight for his age. But I just want to make sure he's getting all the nutrients he needs. And because he's a special crossbreed, because he's an exotic short hair, which means he's a uh, American short hair cross with a Persian. Uh, so, yeah, you know, you got to pay attention to stuff like that because sometimes they need special vitamin increases or something, I guess. Keep him nice and healthy. Seriously, where is this? It wasn't up here. Should we just go do the boss? It feels weirdly like I'm missing a whole level. Do this. This boss is pretty entertaining. I'm sure there was something about leaves. But maybe I'm just going insane. Uh, I completely forgot what I was doing. Jack, Jacks, Jacks, Jacks. There's a Jack in the box. And he used to be horribly mutated by the poly count he was given. Fuck you too. There's these weird sloth taloned creatures everywhere. A lot of frustrating platforming as well whilst you chase those stupid jester fools around. So I'm just going to clear out the area first, just to make stuff a little easier. Give me some gems as well, some gems. Don't need to rush just because of these assholes. bizarre creatures in the first Spyro game and like it has others later but I feel like it starts to become a little more quote-unquote normal with enemy design in the later ones where everything has a fairly like child-friendly enemy design it's not like weirdly bizarre and surreal where you're like oh what the fuck is that you know But yeah, it's a weird time in the 90s where they're like, hey, this thing for kids, let's make it deeply horrendous for children to experience and give them nightmares. Spyro is never that bad, though. Just strange. Very surreal. To be honest, Crash 3 and uh, this... All the Crash games and all the Spyro games were a little surreal, and Rayman was even more surreal. The guy who designs design Rayman doesn't even know what Rayman is supposed to be. That's how fucking weird Rayman is. Just saying that, like, Rayman, the guy was like, ah, I'm just going to design a thing, and they're like, okay, what is it? Ah, oh, I have no idea. Let's make a game franchise out of it. They're just like, uh, sure. <laughs> I guess there's that license with uh, kid stuff, right? Let's get this. Anyway, what was I saying? So, I don't like gossiping about this stuff, but I always end up doing it because I get this a lot and I don't know why, because one moment they're gossiping about how fat and horrible I am apparently. Next minute, they're like texting me in their spare time. <laughs> Here he is. Oh, they made him even more horrendous. Let's check I've got the rest of this first, because, you know, might as well be thorough for a bit. deliberately add all these split paths to mess with you. 
feel like I missed something. I probably didn't now. I did not. That's be a big circle. Ah. What the fuck? Why? Why? What made that go up? Did you? Oh, you little shit. Really, really weird. I'm so fucking cool. Why did that go up and then not come back down? I'm so confused. Okay. I don't understand. Yeah, I, I don't normally like gossiping about this, but I got a couple of girls at work like taunting me because I'm fat and I'm like, okay, sure. Like that matters because your, your opinion matters. And like, uh, you know, I'm just like, whatever, sure, whatever. And one of them keeps texting me outside of work. So, like, I'm just minding my own business. And she texts me, and I'm just like, okay. And, like, I try and avoid texting them outside of work because it's just weird. You can see he's trying to throw shit at me. But I get too close each time. Okay, I thought it stopped at 400. Oh. Let's try and go find... Oh, there's that other dragon was at that weird place. Well, we can go and try it. While I finish my story for once. Uh... not intended. Oh, fuck you. What makes you come down? What made you go down and then go back up? Was it you? I headbutted one of you. Oh, fuck off. Look at this little... Yeah, it was him, it was him, it was him, it was him. It was him. It was him all along. I thought it was like... Unica. That's all he had to say after all that. Okay. There's a whole area behind him as well. Oh yeah, I kind of remember this area. So yeah, um, oh sorry, I'm just phasing out all the time now. Yeah, so she texts me outside of work, and whenever it's my day off, she texts me saying, because we obviously share days off. Um, because the school is closed that day. 
and uh, oh, I would have died. I'm missing some more gems. Uh, I probably saw a gem. Where these gems are. Yeah, and she texts me every day before my day off and says, what are your plans? What are your plans? And she keeps flirting with me. And she sent me pictures of her in her pajamas. Like, oh yeah, my cat's just sleeping on me. Look, isn't it cute? And she's always using her cat because she knows I have a cat as an excuse to like make weird comments. And she so she sends me pictures of her in her pajamas with her cat all over her chest. And it's like, Oh, yeah, because she's got quite a large chest. <laughs> then it's just like, I'm sorry, like, okay, cool story, bro. Uh, and I'm just kind of like, whatever, because, like, she's really private at work, and I try and talk to her, and she's, like, very, like, why are you talking to me kind of thing. Like, now outside of work, she's like, hey, and doing all this weird shit, and then she keeps texting me now. Every day off I have said, what are your plans? We should hang out next time you have a day off that you're not doing stuff. And if I'm like, when she says, what are your plans? If I'm like, nothing, don't want to do anything, busy. She gets like really salty with me. And I'm just like, like, you know, not really that interesting. Let me check with the other worlds to see if I've got everything. About the same. Yeah, it's about the same. It's the same. Okay, we're gonna go to the next world. Yeah, and she's always doing this weird shit, and I'm just like, okay, sure. And I'm just trying to politely like push it away, like you know, stop her from acting strange. And then she's like, uh, like and she, she, you know, I say one thing like that. And she doesn't text me for the whole night. Like, she's like, what are you doing? What are your plans for the day off? And I'm like, I don't know. Probably just stay at home and cry all day. <laughs> and she's like, oh, what the hell? And it's like, I might have been serious. I mean, lately. <laughs> anyway, time for New World, Nork World. It's a little crazy from here.